Don't go in there alone. Go in. It is not in the file. It is not. Hey everyone, Grape Cinema here again, bringing you yet another reaction video. Nope, not a cooking show. Nope, nope, not a cooking show. <laughs> Sally. Uh, so, uh, do you know what we're doing? No, nope. there's another one you have not told me. That is true, I have not told you what we're doing yet. No. Nope. But, I'll tell you now, what we are doing will be... The Exorcist. Three. Three, okay. Yes. We're skipping two. Yeah, supposedly two is a piece of shit, so we're going straight to three. Straight to three! We have seen the first one, and good movie. Uh, movie of its time. Uh, I've seen this one. Okay. I like this better than the first. I'll let you know that much. Okay. I really, really like this one. I think you'll like this too. And it's also on, I think... If not Bravo's... No, it's definitely on Shudder's list of scary movie moments. Okay. And you'll know which moment. Okay. You guys will know which moment too if you've seen this. Okay. I want to see it get you. I want to see it get you. Then I suggest you not close your eyes. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, I really like this one, and I wanted to take the opportunity to show you this one. Okay. Okay. Show away. Alright, and just so you're aware, theatrical cut, that's what we're seeing, not the director's or extended cut. I've seen the theatrical cut, haven't seen the extended cut yet, but I did like the theatrical cut, so that's what I'm showing you. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, so, you ready? Yeah. Let's get to it. The Exorcist 3. Georgetown, 1990. The stairs. The stairs. Huh. George C. Scott. Great actor. Damien. It's a priest from the first one. That's not creepy. Big gust of wind. The Exorcist 3. Brad Dourif. My name is familiar. He's the voice of Chucky. Hmm. Of a rose. And of falling down along the flight of steps. You know, Father, you mentioned that Damien Karras, in your prayer for the dead, died in a fall on those steps. Yes, that's right, Tim. Fifteen years ago today. I once spent a year hearing children's confessions, and I wound up a lemon drop junkie. Little weirdos keep breathing on you along with all that pot. Between the two of them, I've got a feeling it's probably addictive. You wouldn't want to live forever. Yes, I would. No, you wouldn't. You'd get bored. I have hobbies. <laughs> In the meantime, the killer drove an ingot into each of his eyes and cut off his head. In place of his head was the head from a statue of Christ. I mm. cut her throat and watched her bleed. Oh my. She bled. <laughs> <laughs> Another killing. Get a confessional. Missing a finger. He's gone. Thank God. Kintry didn't die from the decapitation. He was injected with a drug. Why are we in the hospital, Father? Make a lot of people nervous. Only sinners. Everybody! Is everything all right in here, guys? We're fine! Are you? We're fine! I'm George E. Scott. I need to scream at a line here or there. Any way to scream? To treat a, a nurse, though? Call the desk and book a room. I brought your hamburger, father. These killings are getting to him, I guess. Head's gone. Is gone. Swan Lake. It's Dracula. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my. Are we dreaming? Uh, Fabio! Come in, please. Fabio's an angel. Us? We are attempting to communicate. Because why not? So sorry you were murdered, Thomas. I miss you. I miss you too. So sorry you were murdered. Very interesting representation of heaven in his dream here. Mm-hmm. I've just never seen anything like this in 20 years. What are these? Mm. Father Dyer's entire blood supply. Oh, All of his blood. Completely exsanguinated? What? Well, gotta keep it nice and tidy. All of his blood? There's only the writing in his blood. Writing? On the wall. It's a wonderful life. You have a very kind face. You will do well. Ooh, that's not creepy. Lieutenant. It was in the straight jacket. It's not the daughter from the first one. Not still. You need a court warrant in order to be here doing what you're doing. You ever heard Everyone about practice now. suits? Heard of the Gemini killer? Hell, hell, I what? He died in the electric chair. Go ahead, Lieutenant. Temple, why are you encouraging you to shut say? your mouth? Excuse me. Still dealing with my friend's death. Mm -hmm. Trying to escape a fucking murder here. Ooh, look at that thing. Spring activated. That looks like it. Don't stick your finger in between there. Yeah. I don't think that was the wind. Nah, it's the wind. It's totally the wind. It's totally the wind. Some ominous rattling. Mm -hmm. Heh! <laughs> Joker. Bro. Total Joker face on that. It, it, that was always a uh, making a face, though. Like, in the first opening scenes, it was making different faces, too. It's like, that's where the thing lives. I hope he burns it. <laughs> Looks like it needs to be. I'm really glad that wasn't more ominous because I almost elbowed you in the face. Yes, thanks for not elbowing me in the face. I would have felt horrible, for the record. Getting a little cold. Yeah. Mm. And since when can a demon invade a holy space? I thought that was like a no-no. Well, it depends on who's writing the story. I guess so. Regardless of what you might believe, this is not a documentary. Do you don't say. <laughs> The tape was really English in reverse, but the expert who figured that out was Kendra's mother. It's all tied together. Barbie! Yeah, so the people that killed were tied in with that exorcism. Aww, poor Birdie. Uh oh. The crucifix fell doesn't down. like that. Got bloody tears coming out of the eyes. Huh. Fingerprint match. To whom? Little old lady. Of course. Who else would it be? The dog? Do you remember coming in here when the priest died, Mrs. Lily? Who was in here? Mm. So you can't believe she did it? No, if he did, she was possessed. Psychotic is someone more neurotic totally. than his doctor. He says he's the Gemini killer. Says he's the Gemini killer. What you see, Lieutenant? I want to file on that man. Were there any signs of injuries, blood, lacerations? That would be in the file. It is not in the file. It is not. It is not in the file. It is not. Do you think I would be asking if it were in the file? The man in cell 11 is Damien Karras. It's the priest who did the exorcism. Whoa. I know nothing except I must go on killing. I'm alive! I go on! I breathe! There's Brad. The face of the Gemini killer. You're the face of the Gemini killer. Tell the press that I am a Gemini or I will punish you. Haven't you already? Do you dance? What do you mean? With the devil by the pale moonlight? My way. 
<laughs> I told you that the man is... Goddamn nose is broken! He slipped. Really? Right into that guy's head. Yeah. Nothing's normal about that man. Why did you hit him? He was being a douchebag. <laughs> Pretty much. What else has he said in his voice? Only one other thing. He said kill it. Kill it. Right for exorcism. Didn't work last time. What makes you think it will now? I die. Good night, Julie. It's so late. Yes, it is. Gemini killer. There's a rattling. Well, I think we have our next victim. She does appear to be isolated a little bit. All alone. In a hallway. Mmm. As we know, that is dangerous. Dangerous. Call for backup. What you hear, nurse? Don't go in there alone. Go in. Go in, go in, go in. What do you think's in there? Bad stuff. Oh, it's just melting ice. <laughs> Can't I get any sleep? What the hell do you want? That was the moment. You're sorry. I think you do this on purpose. <laughs> well, got you good there. Yeah, I, I'm happy. See? That gotcha. Good, didn't it? <laughs> now she's gonna die. What? Nah, she's fine. See? Fine. What's in there? Bunnies? Of course. It's bunnies. Hey, hey. they are, Cops are leaving. very evil. Oh, well, now she's doomed. Oh, no, there it can... Okay, still. There's still a cop there. Uh, oh, uh-oh. Cop's gone. Nah, she's fine. She's perfectly fine. Don't say that. You just doomed her. I told you. That was the jump scare moment, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Yep. I can see why. It was very sudden. And a smash what zoom they in. were holding? There was that little blade thing. It's not very easy to see with that scene from a distance. It's very quick. The jump scene before that got you worse. It did, that fucker. Slit down the middle. And all her vital organs were removed. Then she died? She stuffed her body with other materials. Other materials? What other materials? Other materials. Catholic rosaries. Lieutenant! Hmm. Oh, that's green. Green means death. Oopsie. That makes it look like he committed suicide. The polygraph machine? That electric chair. I didn't like it. There was still so much killing to do in the void without a body. Just like Johnny Bartlett. You were dead. Then along came. And then you were angry? Well, well I'd be angry too. You know, well, then. You don't have a line of people you want to kill. There. Cool Says ones. you. You might have a list. You don't have that big of a line. And he thought my work should continue in this body. Let's call it revenge. He is inside with us! He will never get away! You can hear his Chucky right in there, can't you? Was I raving? Just a little bit. A little bit of <laughs> raving. So much damage to Karis' brain cells. Gee, I wonder why. So many lost. <laughs> he went... You are issuing a clear invitation to the dance. What does that oh, the mean? The dance? I am the Gemini. Bill, help me. Bill, help me. No! Child's play, Lieutenant. <laughs> Child's play. And a little red-headed kid. I can't read this. Child's play. Uh-oh. It's Ooh. his purple light again. He's being watched. Of course he's being watched. He's in the hospital. Mmm. They watch everyone in it Oh. Well, that's not normal. 
Oh, that's the lady that was in the room. Yep. Apparently she's getting possessed. Getting? Do you call them ceilings? All the time. No, you don't, because I'd have to clean them then. <laughs> that was pretty freaky dicky shit. I kind of wonder how they did it. Oh no, who's dead now? Uh-oh. Who's that? That's one of the crazy ladies. Dance to the jury. Oh, don't go after his family. Hello. Of course they're. Bill. Hi, honey. Uh-huh. Okay, sweetheart. That wasn't him. That was Bill. There's a nurse coming over with a package. Uh oh. Look at that car though. Get a car! Roll it, run it, move it, move it, go! That was a stop sign, sir. He has a cop car with his lights on. Stop signs do not exist. What do you suppose she has in there? Um, uh, maybe a toy. You think it's Tori? You think it's something to infect the entire house? Well, I guess we're gonna find out. That must be the nurse. Brain activity side. So he's like projecting himself into the body. Go around the back. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, I bet. Mother, daddy's mom. Hmm. What's this? Crazy, that's the only explanation. Well, you're honest. Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> what nurse? I'm so tired. Oh, hi, Stevie. Yeah, how'd it go? Julie! Was that laughing with Uh-oh. I've been waiting for you, Lieutenant. I wanted you to see this. Oh! Julie! Ooh, that was close. She may still be dead. Oh, that's a lot of strength. Possession! Oh, she's alive. Just pulled her out. Get them out of the house! Watch this. The priest has put on his superhero cape. He's ready. And he does not care what you did to his crucifix. This movie is called The Exorcist. We need an exorcism, do we not? Yes. So did the studio. <laughs> Originally, there wasn't the scene. <laughs> Come in, Father Morning. This time, you're going to lose. In the name of the Father. <laughs> Save your servant, who trusts in you, my God. Snakes? Our Father. Sir. Blood. There's a snake going around his neck. There is. Right. What he murmurs of my rosary beads. You corrupt her of justice and innocence and youth. Oh, you flatter him. Well, flattery gets you everywhere, right? Of all the human race. Ow. Peeling there a little bit. Pray for me, Damien. You're free. Did you think to save your friend, the priest? Have I helped your unbelief? Oh, yes. I believe in pain. Mm. I believe in cruelty and infidelity. You son of a bitch! I believe! Paid for special effects budget, let's use it. Oh, Bill. Save your prayers. 
God is not here with us now. Save your servant, my God. You. Damien. Damien! Damien! Fight! He died. No! Bill, now! Shoot now! Kill me now! Never say that. Bill. Now free me. It wasn't him that said it. It was Damien. And credits. Alright, so that was The Exorcist 3. What are our thoughts on this? A lot more... Yes? The story had more meat to it. It did have more story to this, I will say. The first movie was pretty standard. Girl is possessed. They are doing everything they can to help her before they realize, well, maybe she's fucking possessed, and then there's an exorcism. Very well done. This one has a bit more going on into it because it involves mainly... The priest of that film, when he uh, died, demon's like, fuck you. Ooh, this killer also died. Let's stick him in that body. And then they invent some bullshit where it's like, oh, he's brain dead, but I have to regenerate the brain and it took 15 years and now I'm killing again. You know, because that's when they made this movie. <laughs> so, uh, but I think that makes this a quite the unique story. And I always like that about this. It's definitely a unique story. I think that every time they had the fucking crucifix doing different things, that was weird. Just like bleeding. It's not just the bleeding, it's the the face changes, it's the... Why? You shouldn't be able to affect that. They're demons, they can do whatever the fuck they want. It's not how... Uh-oh. No? No? That's not how demons work? No? They shouldn't be able to touch a holy symbol like that. Yet they did. I don't like that they don't follow the lore. They make their own lore! No. <laughs> I'm glad they still had somebody crawling on the ceiling. It wouldn't have been an exorcist without somebody crawling on the ceiling. I'm glad that yeah. projectile vomit did not return. No projectile vomiting or anything like that. Not, it's not an extended exorcism. As I mentioned before, the studio's like, wait, we need an exorcism in this exorcist movie so they added that there at the end and i liked it you know it was like some excitement there for the climax um but ultimately yeah he had to he had to shoot him he, there was no getting him out and he was already kind of technically dead anyway just didn't even know it yeah mm -hmm. and yeah that one jump scare got you well, and then there was the one right after that that I was just, like, expecting. Yeah. That's the one that's mainly well-known is the one after, you where knew? it's, like, that smash cut. But the one before that, it's apparently you that's the one that got you. the nurse was gonna die. Yeah, but you didn't know when or how. No, it was happening in that time frame. You could tell. You could tell. She was by herself. She was checking all kinds of rooms. Yeah. She was gonna die. Mm -hmm. There was no saving her. None whatsoever, huh? Yeah. No, no saving her. Uh, really nice close call with the daughter, though. Yeah, just a quick. Like I'm pretty sure he even her touched her. Yeah, interesting. Before grandma was like yoink. And interesting weapon too, the way that's like spring loaded. So if you let go, it'll do a quick slice. Yeah. Uh, interesting that the demon you think could uh, also take effect from people like four or five houses. Yeah, so it's not just possessing mm -hmm. the one person, it's projecting its consciousness into the the, the dement or dementia and the catatonic, the ones whose minds aren't there to p defend themselves. So it goes into them and then takes them over. So that's why when you saw the priest earlier, 
for when he got killed in his confessional and that voice of a woman, it was one of those women being possessed. And that's how the one woman had her fingerprints in the room because she was possessed. Uh-huh. And he even managed to possess more than one person at a time because you had crazy catatonic lady, you had other crazy lady who was crawling on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. The catatonic lady is the one he sent to his house. Yes. It's just interesting how you've, you've moved on from possessing just this human to this human and all these people. And so many people died. I don't... I need to watch it several more times to understand how they all pertain to each other, though. You will need to watch it several more times. Maybe when you're fully awake, too. Yes. Yes, because we did a double feature tonight, and it's a little late. A little late. And you're a little, a little, a little doo doozy. A little doozy. I was trying to drink, monster. I know. Don't worry. I normally don't drink, monster. I was needing you to be you like, were... okay, there's a good scene coming up. I gotta make sure you're awake for this shit. You were, and I appreciate it. I'm sorry. I still have to pack stuff tonight. At I know. For those of you who don't know, she's about to leave on her trip mm. right now. You're seeing this in April. Uh, I'm almost home at this point. At this point, you probably are home, but this was filmed second week of January. And yeah. it's probably the 13th tomorrow. Yay, mm -hmm. so I'll let you know when this was done. Uh, right now, it is yeah. actually Friday the 13th, because it's 12.40 at night. Yes, it is now past midnight, which is why she's uh, Yeah, that's you. Uh, <laughs> I always try to do these though when she's not too woozy, but we had to squeeze you one more out so I have stuff to put you ran out. Ran out of time. I know. And we had to get food in between the double feature. We had to get food. Yes, we did. It's important. It is important to eat. to eat. Yes, but still, we got to watch a good movie. We did, and I got most of it. So you got most of it. Any final thoughts on The Exorcist Three? Um. Overall, I think it was a really good sequel. I can see why people like it better than the original. Mm hmm It's... It's got more meat to it. It does have more meat, and it's got a great performance by George C. Scott. He's always great. He won an Oscar for Patton. He's been in other works where he's been great in what he's done. So, I'll show you a few of those here or there. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Alright. Um. There's one other thought I had. What's the uh, thought? They, uh. Oh, I like the addition of the snake, to be honest, since it's showing on the thingy. <laughs> yeah, the DVD menu, uh, Blu ray menu, whatever. Uh, thought... yeah, there were snakes in the visions and the exorcism. Yep. Well, I thought the, the. There were some interesting visuals, I will say, especially when he's. Dreaming he's like in heaven, and then you see Fabio and Patrick Ewing as angels. It's like, what? And then all the victims with their heads back on, but then with the, like the stitching or whatnot to reattach them. Very interesting. I think the- And the Joker statue. <laughs> the complete exsanguination into the cups was very strange. Um... Oh. And not a, not a kill you normally see. It's about presentation, like the Gemini killer said. Showmanship. I mean, yes. I just like that it had a unique kill. I mean, don't get me wrong. Killing with whatever the fuck that scissor thingy was called. <laughs> That's a unique kill, too. But we've seen yeah. lots of decapitations and... I'm going to cut your head off. And I definitely thought that nurse was getting her head cut off, not cut up the middle. Um... She probably did, and then had more cut off down the middle. I guess so. We see the quick little shring, and then we hear about the after effects. What happened later. But it's a unique kill, and I like that. Mm-hmm. Um, no, there was another thing, though. Yes? I'm trying to fully form it. Talking with the actual demon. Having a full conversation giving the demon a personality, I think that was a really good expansion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this one, it's an even also not really a demon, it's the spirit of a person. 
who's performing for the demons, but then right. he has a demonic voice in certain periods. He does. Yep. And that's a fact. I wondered if that but then was you hear, a... But then you hear Chucky's voice pop through there. So was it an actual effect, or was that just him changing his own voice? I don't know, it was probably an effect. Because yeah, I could hear his actual voice when they weren't doing that effect. Because I'm like, oh, there's Chucky. There's the Chucky we know and love. And I like that little visual gag when he said, child's play, and then it cuts to this little red-headed kid. So... That was perfect. That was so great. But it was also creepy that the nurse went into the kid's room in the dark with a bag of toys. Why wouldn't you turn on a light? So we could have that dramatic moment of the light turning on. That's why. But that's creepy as shit. Of course it is. That's why they did it. No, it's <laughs> the thumb. Any other hospital, that light would have been coming on any hour of the night because those nurses... Plot story, here. plot they story. I know. I know. It's not realistic, but it was... Scene they threw in there just to create tension. Mm -hmm. Not even a little bit was it realistic, but that's okay. Overall, I think it was a great movie. My final thoughts are, um, it was a good sequel. It was, yes. Yeah, even on the cover here, they include that scene where, ching, which is smash zoom in. Yeah. Yeah. It's like somebody in a hood. It looks like a just like a nun or something. Nuns don't wear that much white. It's more like a phantom, but the phantom's all white. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Okay, so thank you for joining us for this watch and first time mostly watch of my roommate. I'm sorry, I feel terrible. You're fine. I tried so hard. You, you reacted to certain bits, and you saw most of what was important. We can rewatch it again later. We can watch Joe Bob's uh, yes. uh, viewing of this if it's still on Shutter. Because yes. he did uh, have this on the last drive in. I would like that. Yes. Get more information about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. As a reminder, most of these reactions I'm awake for. <laughs> uh, and we love it when you comment on our shit. Just as much as we love it when you subscribe we to our shit. We do, and if you like to see things sooner and if you than later, there's always Patreon as well. Like you subscribe to, there. Uh, leave us comments. He loves ones involving trivia, especially trivia that maybe Joe Bob didn't talk about. Yeah, he probably did. During the last drive. <laughs> he knows a lot of his shit. I'm sure he does, but you yeah. never know where there might be that tiny little fact somewhere. That's true. That's true, 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 true. You know, other people might not know. But anyway, we love trivia. We love your opinions of the reactions. Um, Keep going. I just... They No, really, we read all your comments, and they're super <laughs> entertaining. Uh, I had a brain. You had a brain, but it's half asleep. So it ain't. I have so much to do. It is not moving very fast yeah. right now, and I know you have so much to do, so. Maybe we should get to the end of this video so you can actually sleep. What's that? I don't know what that is. It's when you close your eyes and you don't move for a few hours. Mm -hmm. I can only do it for a few hours. I got too much to do. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. back at the video or Back on what we're shoot. doing here. We'll see you all next time, we hope. Yes, every Tuesday at least, we got a new video. So. Sometimes Fridays. Sometimes, the always Tuesday. Always unless, Tuesday. Unless, unless, unless shit unless happens. Unless shit happens, like stuff gets corrupted or... YouTube fucks us over, whatever. YouTube fucks us over so. or other stuff. Anyway, in the meantime though, we this. hope to see you was The Exorcist 3, and we do hope to see you for the next video. Stay spooky and get sleep. Sleep for me, because I can't. Sleep. No, I have to do stuff. Jeez. Alright, until then. Bye. bye.